Be aware of appraisals. They can mislead you and as a result, it can cost you a lot of money in real estate. In this video, you're gonna discover the three most common reasons why appraisals are used and how they can be misleading. Our team has reviewed thousands of appraisals and while some appraisers may get offended by what I'm about to share, this is how it really works in the real world. People have often thought appraisals were the one thing they could rely on, but can you? Hi, I'm Devin Sheehan with Freedom Mentor and for nearly 20 years, our organization has coached and mentored many of America's most successful real estate investors. If you have any questions throughout this video, text FREEDOM to 305-315-8030. And if you're looking for more great videos just like this one, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So if you're a homeowner looking to sell your home right now or in the future, a rehabber looking to fix and flip a property for profit, or maybe you're thinking about refinancing your home, you're gonna wanna pay attention to this video. So are you a homeowner looking to sell your property right now or in the future? Do you often wonder what your home is worth? Well, in some cases, homeowners will hire an appraiser to get an idea of what the property's value is. The issue with this is the value is simply the appraiser's professional opinion, not a buyer who is able and willing to pay for that property. This is why when a property goes to the open market, it may not get the price the appraiser determined in their appraisal report. This can be extremely frustrating for sellers, making them reluctant to even reduce their price in the event they don't receive any offers. Because in their mind, remember, their property should be worth what the appraiser determined, right? Unfortunately, this is not always the case. Sometimes there are factors that not even appraisers might consider in their evaluation process that will affect what a buyer is willing to pay for that property. In fact, right here, we put together a video to help you identify some of those hidden factors that we've seen over the years drastically impact a property's value. So sellers, don't be married to your appraisal report. Understand this is simply an opinion of value, not the actual value. So you may be looking to fix and flip your next property. While determining what the ARV value of the property is critical when profiting from your next real estate deal. ARV value means after repair value. Now be mindful that hard money lenders usually have appraisers they rely on to determine the value of the property to protect their money that is being lended. However, depending on the appraisal, this can bring a false sense of confidence to the property's value especially if the appraiser is generous with their evaluation. This may lead you to over improving the property and as a result, reducing your profitability or maybe no profits at all, or even worse, not being able to sell the property or refi out of that property, resulting in a foreclosure initiated by the hard money lender. This is why knowing how to determine what a property is going to sell for is one of the most important skill sets you can develop in real estate. This is not just something you learn overnight. This is years and years of practice and real deal experience that we bring to the table to help the students we coach. In fact, Phil put together a very helpful video right here that teaches you how to correctly determine a property's value. And this video right here, I'm predicting final sales price. Both are two videos you should watch before you even think about doing your next real estate deal. Don't get caught relying on just the appraisal. You need to develop this skill set to protect yourself from a costly mistake in the future. Now, for those of you looking to refinance your home, an appraisal may drastically impact your future plans. This is because if you decide to refinance your home, the bank does require an appraisal. The problem here is the value the bank puts on your home today could be higher than what the market is willing to pay at a later date. When you go to sell the property, you may be stuck because your loan to value may only allow you to break even or worst case at a potential loss. You may want to think twice about maxing out the refi amount your bank is willing to lend based on a third party appraisal. Just remember, that appraisal might be much higher than a buyer is willing to pay. 
The last thing you want to do is not be able to sell your home because of an appraisal that was too bullish. Be mindful that you need to have an idea of what your home is worth to avoid overextending yourself in the event you do refinance your property. Thanks for joining us today. And if you yourself had had an appraisal issue, share your experience in the comments section below. And as always, if you're looking to be coached by our team, fill out an application located in the description.